Geminis, and this is your reading for the month of July for Sun sign, Moon sign, and your Ascendant sign. If you are not aware what your Moon sign and Ascendant sign is, and if that may be different, please make sure that you watch all three videos. Uh, so the first card is for relationships. Let's see how your relationships are going to work out this month. And it says romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So with Mars going retrograde, which is going to uh, very soon, and Venus is moving in with Mars in Cancer, Cupid's arrow strikes again. And if you're single, you're going to find someone. But if you are not single, then uh, focus on improving your relationship with your partner, unless it's a extramarital affair then be careful because that will be exposed this month and as far as health is concerned if you are planning a baby you're going to have one uh, you're going to you know get pregnant and uh, it may be more than one so watch out for twins um, you need to take care of your diet just make sure that you have a lot of roughage and fiber in your diet and your children may need your attention they may need you to nurture them just give them a little bit of time and love and i'm sure everything's going to be fine if you have any kind of gynecological or you know hormonal issues for men and women uh, then uh, that may need a little bit of attention, but it's nothing to worry about. Basically, I see everything positive. So I feel more than gynecological issues, they're obstetric issues. So there is a pregnancy in order. It's good news. Well, actually. Um, for um, So this is for career. Career, uh, <laughs> okay. You're going to travel for work. It's going to be creative. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to be, uh, let's say, pleasure and work combined. So you're really going to enjoy it. It you it may be out of the city. It you may travel to some place with natural you know nature around, and especially greenery and maybe some hills, but it may be in a place which is a summary, so not to cold places. And I see that you're going to, this travel is going to be successful and you're going to make money, especially if it is about events. Also, I see that, well, like this said, the Cupid's arrow strikes, you may meet somebody on this travel unless that person is part of, your team and uh, you know you meet this person through work which is also a possibility so yes um, attraction is going to be mutual and you may take this to another level if it is not just a one night stand or a fling the angel guidance for you sublime faith have unflinching faith in the divine, despite what may transpire in your life. Have faith that every aspect has been ordained by a higher power. And what actually comes to me is that if you are traveling for a wedding, then what may happen is you may come across somebody who may be helpful in your career, in case you're looking for a job and maybe somebody's offering a job. Also, if you meet somebody, you know, then this person may be your soulmate. And uh, if you're already married or in a relationship, then there is some divine power behind it for you to meet this person. So just go with the flow. That was for Gemini's. Thank you so much for watching. Do share the video if you like it. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe. Don't forget to watch the numerology analysis and uh, the other two videos for moon sign and ascendant in case they're different in your chart. Thank you so much. As for the general reading for the world, COVID and everything, I may do it live.
So make sure you join it in case you have any questions. Goodbye and thank you.